Okay, what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to register a domain and then host that domain. The domain, just so you know, is the actual .com or .net, .org, or .whatever it is you want to have that's available for the name you select. And to do this, we need to first go to what's called a domain registrar. There are many domain registrars out there, such as GoDaddy, Dotster, Network Solutions, and so on. Uh, for this particular example, I'm going to show you how to use Dotster. Dotster has been in business for a very long time, and they do domain registrations well. So we'll show you how to do this. On the Dotster homepage, they make it very easy. All you have to do is type in the name of the domain that you want in the large white area. And after you type in a name, you just click on Find a Domain on the right side. The website will search the records to see if it's been taken or not. And then you get to the next screen. And if the website you want is available, you check it. And then after that, you go ahead and purchase your domain. If you have not been the Dotster before, it will prompt you to create a free account. When you create your account, you're not actually spending any money at that point. Uh, where you are spending money is when it actually asks you for credit card information. The cost for a one-year registration is $14.95 uh, for all of us. That rounds to $15. So we'll just say it's $15. Now your site is not hosted at this point. Uh, when you purchase your domain, you do own the name. But until you host it, it uh, doesn't have anywhere to serve any web pages from. So the next thing we're going to do is get hosting for our site. Assuming that the domain registration went through successfully and you now own that domain name for a year's time, we can go ahead and host it. The site that I recommend is hostchart.com. Hostchart is nothing but web hosting. There are many, many, many web hosters out there. And I'm going to give you a few tips on how to select a proper web host. The first thing to take into consideration with a web host is price. Uh, there are some out there that are very inexpensive. You can, uh, there are even some that are free. But the problem with that is, is that when you go with a low or budget priced host, you may encounter unexpected things such as uh, banner ads on your website. Obviously, you don't want any on your site. Or you may uh, have a very low featured host that doesn't have things like SQL databases or an easy control panel to set up things like email accounts and things like that. So when you're shopping around for a web host, price does not necessarily dictate all. Certain features that you'll want are flexible payment options such as month to month or quarterly, biannually or yearly an easy to use control panel so that you can set up features of your website easily and quickly make sure that their network addresses for their servers are in the united states and that their servers are physically located in the united states this means that your site will serve faster and you also want to know how to cancel your account just in case you don't want that host or you don't want to host a website anymore or switch to another host an easy way to find out whether you can cancel your account easily or not is to read the help or fax section for that web host. Search for the term delete or cancel and if you can find it easily then that's good. That means you can cancel without a hassle. Once you have your domain registration and web hosting in place the next thing you have to do is go back to Dotster and then log into your account and then set up what's called name servers. Name servers always look like ns1.thewebhost.com and ns2.thewebhost.com. When you log in to the Dotster account, you can go right to the domain and then go ahead and plug in these name servers. No, this does not cost you anything. After that, about 24 to 72 hours from then, your website will be live and then you will be serving web pages and that's basically it. You register your domain then you get some web hosting and then you plug in your name servers and then you wait about between one to three days and then you have a live website and there you go.